Hey, what's going on everybody for First We Feast? I'm Sean Evans coming at you from Brooklyn, New York fertile ground for some of the best pizza in the entire country. Now it's no secret that I've stuck my neck out time and time again for my beloved deep dish, but today we're exploring the other side of the debate. And to make sure that we don't brick it, we've teamed up with the best pizza Sherpa in the game, Pauly G, the pizza king of Greenpoint, and today he's gonna give us the pizza cheat code, a crash course in the do's, the don'ts, and what you need to know to pick out the perfect slice. So without further delay, let's go find Pauly G. I'm Paulie G. I own Paulie G's Greenpoint Pizza Joint, and uh, I'm here today because I've always had a love for pizza, and I found a way to turn that love for pizza into a wonderful life. I've been eating pizza in Brooklyn since I was about four years old when I had my first slice on McDonald Avenue near church in a place I think was called Sal's. My real pizza transformation started for me in the 1990s when I started looking for coal oven pizza, wood fired pizza. We just went all around, and as I was doing that, I observed that uh, pizza was a very simple process. I built an oven on my property at home in New Jersey when I was 54 years old. For a couple of years, I practiced, I experimented, I invited people over, and after two years, uh, I signed a lease, and I was here in uh, Greenpoint on opening night, March 9th, 2010. Today is gonna be a classic Paulie G kind of day. Gonna eat lots of pizza. All right, so we've linked up with Paulie G, who's brought me out to Bay Ridge. Paulie, what the hell are we doing here? Nino's is the quintessential New York slice shop. In the 70s, I consumed a great deal of alcohol down the block from here, and I always had to sober up with a couple of delicious slices. And I came back recently, and it's even better than it was back then. All right, well, that's an important note. You ready to get it going? I'm starving. Let's go. Dylan, you wanted a classic New York slice joint. You got it. These are my friends, Lorenzo and Benny. Looks like it. Hey, Lorenzo, how Benny, you doing? Nice to meet you. Nino's doesn't get any better than this. What makes this shop so classic? What makes the pizza so good? Well, I mean, first of all, the whole area, is, I think it became famous when they started with the movie Saturday Night Fever. And uh, that just like started like a whole thing in Bay Ridge, you know, it became like a big club scene place. And John Travolta goes to Lenny's Pizza, you know, my father, he, he was, an, he was an owner. That's where he slapped the two slices together. That's where he slapped together. the two slices. That's right. That's right. He says, two, so. give me two. Yeah. In the 1970s, what did a New York slice mean? And has that changed now, you think? Or is it more or less the same? We still have that traditional New York slice, you know, which people love. But again, like, our pizza has changed. We have multiple different pizzas. You definitely should have traditional, regular slice, you know, and a grandma slice. Got it. That grandma looks off the hooks. Okay. Don't forget the Sicilian. Sicilian. <laughs> and the Sicilian? And the Sicilian, Sicilian. Sicilian. absolutely. Gotta go. All right, absolutely. I'll go with the trifecta. Tell me, what's a good slice versus a bad slice? What are you looking for exactly? It has a nice orange color to it. Not too white, not too red, and there's not a lot of spice in there. I'm going in. What pairs best with New York City pizza? Fruit punch. There it is. Baby orange. And then we have two other sorts of things going on. This is the grandma. This is something we never had when, when you know, slice choice with classic slice choice. Usually I'm not that big a fan. This thing, serious business. They're known here now for this. It's nice and thin, and it's highly seasoned. That's, that's the difference between a grandma and a Sicilian, besides the thickness. There's a, there's a garlic flavor to it. There's a lot of oregano, which you don't get on the other slices. And then we have the square slice here. This is the Sicilian, uh, I right? I gotta take a bite of this right now. <laughs> it's a Sicilian, but true Sicilian pizza was, did not have any cheese on it. It was just sauces called a sfinchone. And I, there's some seasonings on it. I think, I think Romano, uh, maybe sometimes there was a, a chopped up anchovy in there. But this, this became like an American Sicilian slice. Nice and crunchy on the bottom, nice and fluffy inside. Watch. Polly, what do you prefer, corners or sides? That's a Everybody problem. loves the corner, and I do too. But I'm a guy that gets in the car and drives and eats pizza occasionally when I go back to Jersey. And you gotta have a corner slice for that, right? That's the mark of a true pizza professional. He has the pizza that he prefers when he's driving. He has the pizza that he prefers when he's sitting down. This place is just classic. This is what it's all about. This is a family-owned business. Three brothers took it over from their father. A wonderful thing. 
You ready to check out another place? I am following you wherever you want to go today. All right, all right very right. good. Right now, I'm going back to this slice. So we're sitting down. Feels like I'm in a bit of a time warp here, Paulie. What's so special about Sam's? That's exactly what's so special about Sam's. It's an old school Italian joint, just like it was in 1930, and they have great pizza. Here comes Lou. Mr. There Paulie, he is. How are you, how you doing, you. pal? Good. How you doing? I've been telling them all about you. Come here for Lou and the, the clams and a pizza. I got no clams. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your pizza so good? What? Tell me about that oven. That oven used to be a coal-fired oven. My uncle switched it over to natural gas in the 40s. The oven is still as strong as coal. Huh? And the pizza's better than any slice joint in New York. It really is. That's that's big praise coming from It really Paul is. It's, it's amazing pizza. I've had people ask me for our recipes. I refuse to give it to them. My father passed it down to me. And he's going to pass it down to me. Mm, it's going to cost you. <laughs> I'll pay. It's going to cost I'll you. You got a couple of million? No, 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 I'm going to get a couple of million dollars. Ah, sure. yeah. I'm going to charge you rent. Wait. Sure. Sean's heading for very big things. Yeah, these are big clams of reganata right here. Gotta have the lemon. E-Y-F-H-O. Everybody know what that means? Eat your fucking heart out. There you go. Oh. So, by the way, when's this pizza coming? Next year. Next year, we can't wait that long. Well, you keep sopping the bread up. Little one last sop, you can take it and bring us the pizza. Nice. You ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. It might be a little hot. There you go. I'm ready. Going in. The old fold. You know, a slice from Nino's, slice here, uh, sort of look the same, right, on the plate, but a different taste. What's going on? What's the difference in that pizza versus this pizza? There's more of a tang in this cheese and the crust. The crust is very different. I mean, you can look and you can see. There's something about pies that you get in a restaurant like this that have a, have a different quality to it. It's not like a slice joint. So, and, and this is a perfect example of that. Great pizza, Lou. Six out of five. Six stars out of five. Thank you. You know what makes this place special, though? It's the way Lou treats people. And I never expected that when I came here, didn't I? At, fir I fir at first, I, I, I wasn't too crazy about Paul. <laughs> right, didn't I? Because he kept snapping pictures, pictures, pictures. Um, Can I get another picture here before we do this? <laughs> Any chance we could shut that light off for a second? And then he loves I found out. So I turned around, I told him, I said, Bully, if I find out you duplicate anything, I cut your hands off. <laughs> That's what he's worried about. I cut your hands Meanwhile, off. He's stealing, he's stealing. Who sends secrets. you more business than me? You do. All right, has this been a great day so far? So far, so good. Great slice joint, great Italian restaurant here with great pizza. I want to show you my place now and hope you feel the same way about my place as I feel about these places. I've been waiting all day to see Paul E. G's. Let's go to your spot. All right, so now we're in the kitchen at Paul E. G's. And Paulie, the places that you've taken me today, I've noticed gas ovens, but not at the Paul E. G. Pizzeria. At Paulie G's, it's a wood burning oven. The, the type of pizza we're making here is Neapolitan inspired, which is the way they've been making pizza in the Naples region for 2,000 years. It's romantic. You do need a, a good thousand degree oven to get the dough to come out there, at least the way I like it. Gas, you cook at a lower temperature, you get a crisper pie. This is a softer pie. And what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna start off with, with the Hellboy. That's because he, he is the spicy guy. Okay, and this pie is like a classic pepperoni pie, but it's hot supersada. It's it's uh, sort of a higher class pepperoni, and we're gonna drizzle on Mike's hot honey, which is here's the industrial sized bottle of Mike's hot honey right here. You want to get to know this thing. When you're tossing the dough around like this, what are you feeling for exactly? Well, the right size. We want to. We don't want to get it too big before we finish the stretch. We want to make sure that we keep the air, uh, you know, the bubbles. Uh, around the edge. Now we're just about the right size, 12 inches or so. Now we're gonna take some sauce. I secretly sauce tomatoes that actually now are Pauly G's tomatoes. We give it a sprinkle of uh, shaved Palm Reggiano. We're gonna add some fresh mozzarella. I like to shred it. When you don't shred it, you get these little lumps and you take one bite and the whole thing comes off. Here at Pauly G's, we're very generous with a hot soup wasada. That's the Pauly G difference right there. There you go, right there.
So we have our pizza here, but it's not quite done, is it? No, it is not. We cut up pies in six, okay? We drizzle on this Mike's Hot Honey. What have we learned about the evolution of pizza today? Well, what we've learned is that as we evolved, we went right back to the beginning because the pizza that's very prevalent here in New York today is pizza that was made the same way 2,000 years ago in Pompeii. Here we go. I feel like the only appropriate way to end this day is to just do what we've been doing all day, which is eating pizza. In case you didn't hear me the first time, serious business. Thanks for, thanks what for, uh, we're, we're filming. I'm like a pizza, I'm a pizza Sherpa, he called me.